girl in Dynamo and welcome back to my Taglish channel. So for today's video, I will tour you here sa aming uh, caravan park na uh, pinagstay on. So here in Lilydale Pine Hill Caravan Park. So ngayon nasa entrance tayo at itutur ko kayo dito kung ano yung makita nyo aside from the uh, caravaning and the camping site they also have a cabins that you can hire if you don't have a caravan or if you have a caravan you want a to hire a car a uh, cabin so ayan guys okay guys so nandito tayo sa little caravan park as you can see here guys ayan yung entrance nila tapos meron din silang cabin if you don't have a caravan and you have a car you can also rent their cabins here guys they're also a residential inside and then on the right side corner you can see also the office and then this is the lane on the canon on the right side is the lane for your check-in and on the kaliwa and the left side is the you can also if you're checked in already and then you come out and then you entry again so i am and there's a agla <laughs> so there's an office inside for check-in and you have to uh check in by qr code if you're vaccinated you check in upon entry on their premises in here in the little caravan park so guys Ayan, itutur ko kayo kung ano meron once na nakapasok na tayo dito sa ating gate. So guys, we are staying here in the Little Dolphin Hill Caravan Park. And so as you can see, that's the office. So that's the mailbox. And this is the entrance. Oh, oh I'm disrobing. <laughs> I'll see my bare mail. Okay, so we are going to tour them drugs inside the caravan. So, in the gate. I think we'll go right. Oh, sorry, we'll go left and then we'll go right. So, my kita nyo, yung mga nandran, cabin siya. This is also a cabin. So, that one is, I think, is a residential. On the canon side, there's a ano, caravan parking also. Yeah, so a lot of those there are either permanent residences or they're like short time, uh, like little cabin hires. Yes, yeah, so their caravan have the roof like in a garage, guys, like that. Yeah, that makes, I don't know if that's solar panels or like put a whole roof on top. So, uh, yeah, they also have here the caravan and then your cabin, as you can see, that one. So, it's very family friendly. You can also bring your pet. It's a pet friendly too, guys. You can walk your pet here. So that area is all um, toilet for female, for gentlemen and ladies and also on the other side they also have a laundry if you don't have a washing in your caravan. So here I think it's a residential. Oh, there's a little flower garden here. So here a little garden. Oh, we actually use hanging out space too. I uh, will cut through there. So we cut here. There's a huge tree here. Yeah, Christmas so tree. If you're camping um, like in a tent or if your caravan doesn't have a toilet or a bathroom, you pretty much come here and use the facilities here instead. Yeah, if you're car or if you're are uh, using camping like a tent, guys, you don't have caravan, you can use this one. It's free. Yeah, there's a hot water and also a laundry. So here, there's a lot of cabin here, guys. Yeah, so again, yeah, the, the cabins usually don't have washing machines, so it's um, use the facilities in there instead. So yeah, that's where we were from just before. So there's a lot of cabin, uh, caravan park in Australia. Depends on which state you are going. Yeah, uh, in, into the suburban area, there's not too many in Melbourne, like in most in the outer suburbs, but usually like in every country town, there'll be probably two or three caravan parks. So they have this signated number. So 
see, you can see them. Yeah, usually when you get to more of a, like tourist areas and we've got caravan parks, um, yeah. um, usually you'll find there'll actually be swimming pools, uh, like jumping pillows. Oh yeah, the other one. The right? one we had in Torquay had um, like food vans would come, so we coffee van in the morning, and then at, at evening there would be um, other sort of food vans, so for dinner. So, so yeah, they do, they do vary up. I mean, there's also ones you can usually have, which are like really close to the beach as well. Yeah, the one we've been before, they also have like a pool. The Starkey, right? So this is I'm not quite sure if that's closed or someone's just taking pictures there. Formation center, so there's yeah. a fire extinguisher here. So there's like a... Yeah, just shows you yeah. where you are. Show you where you are. I thought we go cannon first. So oh, I'll show you here that there's a playground for your... Because as I told you earlier, there's a family friendly guys. So here you can see a playground here. Playground. So yeah. Playground. Playground. Bum bum. I, w I would go down the slide for great uh, dramatic effect, but I'll probably burn my bum on it. Probably hot. <laughs> So, ito yung ginagamit nila, oh. meron tong ano, designated na yeah. ano, kuryente, electricity, and then the water is there, put your Mainit. hose, <laughs> mainit. You should get an egg and cook it. It's very hot, it's still. I think that's a mining one, something like that. So, yeah, very hot. And it's got the, yeah, you got power and water on most so sometimes you can yeah that one have a caravan before but now they gone they go back to the reality so this one you can do an exercise Ayan. so here there's another exercise area here deep yeah do you like this machine which machine <laughs> <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> Not quite sure it works out. But so what this one called Royal Feet Rider? Yeah, I mean that's a, a nice way of putting it. You can also go one handed too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very suggestive. <laughs> you have enough? How about the other one? I know, this is just like a rowing machine. This one doesn't have the comical look to it. Oh, it's not very comical like no, the other one. Movie. Okay, ayan yung mga caravan na nandito pa at the moment guys. Kasi yung iba, ano, uh, they're just fly, they're just gone this morning. I think it's meant to be like a tourism little office but there's no one in there. But there's like a washing machine, oh, sorry, a, a fridge and a, um, and a microwave. And so this is the time machine. Yeah, I think, it's, yeah, I think it's meant to be Puffing Billy. That's why I think it says, well, it says Puffing Billy at the bottom there, but I'm guessing you scan the QR code and... Oh yeah, Puffing yeah. Billy. Actually, I'll see if it works. Toot toot! What's that? What's that? What's that? So there's a lot of caravan pa na nandito guys at the moment. <laughs> so ayan, they have designated garbage disposal for your garbage guys. So ayan, may plastic for the dog because as I told you earlier, there's a family friendly, uh, pet friendly pala guys. So ayan, may mga post naman. So Jax will tell you, so noong weekend meron yung mga caravan dyan. There's more toilets down the bottom there. More what? Toilets down the bottom. Toilets? Yeah, there's... Uh... Put the lucky at the bay. So there's a fire extinguisher here. There's a fire pit. So there's a fire pit over there, guys. Yeah, fire pit. So ito yung other way. Yung kakita nyo kanina sa map. If you're very familiar dun sa map. Tapos ayun yung caravan namin. 
Tapos yung katabi naming neighbor, yung boat. So, Charlene, di ba? Ang Charla boat talaga yun, guys. So, ayun yung caravan namin. Ta-da! So here, you can see also, they also part their caravan here. But kanina nga, they are gone na. They go back to the reality. They have electricity there. And they have a water. There's a sheep at the back, Jax. That's not a big deal, okay? That's not a big deal. There's a few farmers at the back somewhere. It's actually a road there. But yeah, there's sheep in the distance. There's a sheep from the distance. So here. Yeah, oh, yeah. goats and sheep. So close, I can't watch the fence. So ayan, mga caravan paswan naman yung ano. Tapos yung dam side, yung dam side guys, kapag nagpupug ka diba, may ano. So that's the car garbage again for this area at the back. So may garbage bag dyan, may garbage bin. So this one is a dam side guys. So ayan dam side. That's where you put the poops and wees. Yeah, when you put the poop poo and wee wee. Ayan. You don't do it in here. You um the toilet itself in the caravan, there's like a cartridge and so um, there's take a too big you put that in there. So there's a too big here. Yeah, so I, I can show you how we do it tomorrow. When we before we leave I'll empty it and you probably have to pixelate the contents. So all the people before they go now guys they take it out their dam site. So there's another cabin here on the canon. I think that's a cabin. So this is another one. There's a fire extinguisher there. So this is another park for the cabin caravan. So ayun, when mama pushing it guys, mama will put the disposal of the poo poo and the wee wee. So here another cabin guys. If you don't have caravan, there's a caravan park also there. The three spots I think. So that's the gasoline station at the back. This is our exit. You cannot go. Uh, you cannot do exit on the entrance. This is the exit way. So ayan. So only a uh, ten shared zone for the bicycle children and so another fire extinguisher, fire hose wheel, and a garbage bag. So ayan yung boat, Conga. So nandito to misa one thirty one. Yeah, 131. So, yun yung, yun yung sasakyan ni Jax. Yun yung boat sa Shala. Shala ng boat. So, this is the caravan, guys. Ayan, di ba? Ang Shala din. So, ayan. Natur ko na kayo dyan. Ha? Guys, tapos yung solar panel ni Jax. Ayan, no? Sa taas. Ayan. Yeah, it's a temporary one. So, when I... When I drive, the car actually charges the battery as well. So when we're parked up, I can just run the solar panel. And then when we drive, there's another charger in the back there, which charges the battery in the fridge. So and I now, yes, it's I'm sure we'll show inside a lot better once we actually finish cleaning it. But yeah, that's like a big table there. Um, this is obviously our awning here. A couple of chairs. Um, we've got a little fold-up table here. So all this here can go inside the space in the front here. Yeah, we have space oh, at, yeah, it. Boot at the but front. But generally, you can see that size, and if you come to the front here, that size actually runs all the way through to there. So it's, I think it's wider than two meters. So yeah, I've got like three containers full of stuff there, like uh, hoses, cords, stuff to level the caravan with. We've got two gas bottles at the front here. I've got my lock on the front. So yes, and I've already cleaned all the windows this morning, so all of them work nice and well. Every window around the van opens up and it's got all got fly screen on the inside, plus we've got blinds as well. So in summer and back we can pretty much essentially open every single window in the van and let air through. Yeah. And then tomorrow we'll have to pack it up again. So that might be a, a great time lapse. Okay guys. Okay here and clap now. Clap. So that's it guys, that's our Lilydale Pine Hill Caravan Park walking tour for today's video guys. So nakita nyo guys kung ano yung mga amenities 
facilities kung anong meron sa loob ng caravan park. So guys, there's a lot of caravan parks dito sa Australia. Especially if you ha you will go to different states. Ito yung isa lang sa mga uh, madaming caravans dito sa Australia. So, why we decided to go here guys sa caravan park? Because guys, merong... Uh, kaming titingnan or may gagawin kami sa loob na aming caravan. That's why we stay for a caravan. Para sa mga susunod nating caravan adventure or caravan vlog, pwede tayo magstay sa mga uh, rivers, sa side ng rivers, sa side ng forest. So, we don't need to check in in a caravan park. We need to settle kasi first yung mga nasa loob, yung mga uh, storage, yung mga electricity wiring dun sa caravan park. So, we stay here for um uh, five nights, six days, and five nights. So, um, yung mga caravan park dito, guys, ay may mga accommodation siya. So, they also have a park information once na kayo ay magbubooking. So, once na nagbooking kayo, guys, so different caravan parks also, they offer a amenities facilities. So, yung nakita nyo kanina, isa yung sa mga common na facilities and amenities na in-offer sa caravan there's a lot of caravan parks, guys. So, yung mga caravan parks naman is a family-friendly, a pet-friendly also. And uh, they also have a uh, things to do. For uh, for example, dito sa aming area, sa Lilidal, they also have a attractions. So, they also have things to do. Attraction for the kids, attraction for the family. So, if you are a big family, they also have attractions for you. And dito kasi sa area namin, there's a lot of national parks. Reservoir, attractions guys, parks, zoos, and many more. So guys, nakita nyo rin kanina, there's a lot of accommodation also. So yung accommodation dito sa area, they also have a um, cabins. One cabin, two bedroom, and one bedroom. If you're a couple, or you're a mag-asawa, if you're a family of four, family of three, family of six, or it's a big family, they also have a cabins for you. They also have a... Um, site as well. They also have a grass seed campsite. If you have a, um, a tent only, if you don't have a caravan or motorhome, they also have a grass seed, guys. So, they also also have a large friendly site or a drive through power site, guys. Yung katulad, yung sa amin ni Drax, it is the, that is um, drive through powered side. So, drive through power side, guys. Meron siyang electricity. It's a grass also with a concrete slab. Yung concrete slab, guys, doon naka-place yung caravan. Kung nakita nyo kanina, meron tayong drive through na malawak doon. Yung mga hapid bahay namin kanina. Meron siyang concrete slab. So, yung concrete slab, yung cementado doon, doon mo ilalagay yung caravan. So, ayun na nga, guys. May power, may electricity, may water my parking as well ng mga sasakyan. So, meron din sila guys na tinatawag na uh, power site and suit power site guys which um, wala kayong um, toilet. Meron din silang designated doon. Kung yung caravan nyo ay walang toilet or something na maliit lang yung caravan or motorhomes nyo guys, meron din sila noon. Meron din silang power site if um, meron din water, meron din power, meron din silang unpower side. Yung unpower side, guys, ito lang yung may mga grass, pwede nyo lang ilagay yung inyong mga tent. So, if you don't have any motorhome, yung sinabi ko nga kanina. So, meron din silang parking. Meron din silang caravan or motorhome storage. Kasi yung each caravan, guys, depende sa caravan, kung saan mga kayong states na mapupunta dito sa Australia, meron silang different um, storage. If you don't have any space in your area or in your home, in your place, katulad sa amin, we uh, put our caravan in a storage um, in a caravan park. So, safe siya kasi nasa loob pa rin siya ng uh, caravan area. So, meron mga gate kasi doon. They're very strict, guys. Also, they you still have you have your insurance also. And very strict sila kasi hindi ka makakapasok doon kapag uh, you need to call them, you need to... Uh, very fine na pupunta kayo doon sa loob ng uh, caravan park at pupunta kayo sa inyong caravan kasi they will ask you kung anong pangalan mo, kung anong ano, anong caravan yung nilagay mo doon. Mga mga details ka doon. So, yun na nga. Pwede mo 
yung is a uh, storage of motorhome mo or your caravan mo if you don't have any space in your area. So, yung sunod naman is a residential accommodation. So, residential accommodation, guys, if you I Oh, you will stay here there for longer. You can talk to them. So, don't worry guys. I will put their details down below. If you have a relatives here in Australia, pwede nyo sabihin din yun. Okay, so the next one is the rates. So, sa rates guys, kasi we have a peak season and off season. So, yung peak season guys is the November to April naman dito sa Australia. Bakit November to April? Kasi yung summer dito sa Australia is December to March. So, ayun yung mga mainit na uh, month. So, ibig sabihin guys, at saka yun yung mga uh, walang school ba? So, uh, yun yung mga time na madaming mga family na nagiget out together outside the States. Or yung mga holiday, long holiday. Yan yung mga peak season. Diyan sila umaariba yung mga caravan parks. Kaya madami silang pakulo. So, the next one, yung off-season is the May to October. Ayan naman, guys, yung mga winter. Malapit na, lalamig-lamig na dyan yung mga, uh, mga panahon. So, mga cold breeze weather na yan. So, yun yung mga time na uh, medyo mababa ang rates sa mga caravan parks. Alam nila yan kasi yung mga, mga maganda dyan. Yun na nga guys, nakita nyo, it's a family friendly to pet friendly. So, depende sa caravan na pupuntahan. Pero usually kasi kaya kami nag-caravan for the meantime kasi nga, ay ayusin namin yung loob ng caravan guys if there's something inside na pwede namin gawin na habang hindi pa tayo nakaka- Larga. Kasi nga, next time, guys, ay gagamitin na natin caravan for adventure dito sa Australia na. So, hindi na namin kailangan niya mag-check-in sa mga caravan park. Pwede na kaming, ah, doon na sa gilid ng lake, sa gilid ng river, sa mga forest, sa mga uh, faraway hometown, mga countryside ba, ayan. So, ayun na nga guys. So, yung mga pakulo nito dito sa Little Pine Hill Caravan, may pakulo sila. If you stay 7 stay seven days, you will pay 6 days only. So, very good naman yung mga pakulo nila. So, you can book and pay for 6 nights, get the 7th night for free. So, nakita nyo kanina, madami mga cabins, madami mga standard cabin, one bedroom, studio cabin, um, power side and power side, drive-thru side, storage sites, um, and suit sites, extra person dependent, children under 6, no charge yun. So, 6 under uh, yung age is free guys so madaming family nga na uh, talaga pumuputa sa mga caravan park kasi may mga swimming pool minsan may swimming pool talaga guys so may mga playground dun sa loob ng caravan very safe naman yun nandito kasi nga um, they all uh, have or install CCTV areas dun sa loob ng caravan park so they have also Evelyn and uh, Hire so, nakita nyo kanina, kapag wala kayong mga caravan, so if you have a caravan but you don't have any washing machine, they have a designated laundry area which you can uh, laundry. You can buy a soap there, you can buy the detergent and the... Uh, um, Yung pabango ba, ganun. So, ayun na nga guys. So, yung kami kasi, peak season, off season kami pumunta doon, October to November for 5 days. So, 5 nights kami, 6 days and 5 nights. So, yung nakuha namin dyan guys, so off season kami guys. So, yung off season namin, so we go to the drive through site. So, ang off season is, um, off season. Off season is $50 guys. So, ayun ang drive-thru site, no? Bongga. So, $50. So, $50 is $1,825 peso, guys, in peso. So, kapag naman off-season, guys, kasi nga off-season naman kami pumunta doon, it's and October to November 1 or 2. So, meron kami dalawang peak season. So, ang peak season doon is 55 if you're... Depends kung saan kayong accommodation, guys. So, I will put their links somewhere down below and you can check them out. So, ayun na nga guys. So, yung storage naman namin, guys, is still even though if peak season or off season, $5 lang ang ating uh, storage. So, yung $5 for AUD is 182 peso per day. Ayun na yung mga ano natin. So, meron mga depende talaga doon ang rate. Kung cabin ba or 
Depend talaga guys, madami talaga doon. So, ayun na nga guys, so ito lang yung mga details, kung ano yung mga ginastos namin sa Caravan Park, at kung ano yung mga nakikita dito sa Caravan Park guys. So, I hope you enjoy watching, and you had fun today. I hope you learned something today guys. Thank you very much for watching, and mega love shout out to each wonderful people of the universe thank you from the bottom of my hypothalamus please like if you did enjoy my video for today and please do subscribe if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the bell button for you to notify on my next video and please comment down below if you like this video pa and see you when i see you on my next one bye bye guys be good you take care be safe and ciao la